Ido Thompson is Group Head of Private Banking for First Bank of Nigeria, FBN's 125-year heritage in Nigeria and growing international network gives the private banking division a strong foundation to provide best-in-class, bespoke services to its high net worth clients. Ido, who are your clients and how do you work to understand their unique banking needs? Our clients are largely ultra-high net worth or high net worth individuals. These clients cut across different cultures, different backgrounds, uh, levels of education, age, gender, religion. One of the things we pride ourselves in doing is not just listening to our customers, but also hearing them. The two ways in which we do that. So one involves looking at what their buying patterns are, looking at their behavioral patterns in terms of what they're demanding, what they've used historically in terms of the proposition, the private banking proposition. The other part, which is also more qualitative, involves sitting with them and getting a deeper insight as to their individualities. There's a need for us to be able to treat them as individuals. What we try to do is to put the piece of our own expertise in terms of investment knowledge, in terms of the wealth management offerings, in terms of what's available out there in the global trends and make some of these things available to them so that they can make the right decisions for themselves and continue to see us as their bankers of first choice. Tell me more about the changes that you're seeing in your clients and their financial services needs. Our clients are a lot more demanding these days in a very good way. A lot of the clients want high yield on their portfolios. At the same time, a lot of them also want the safety of their portfolios. And what that has done for us is to also put us on our toes as the leading private bank in Nigeria. Uh, there's a lot more questions around the wealth management needs. A lot of what we are seeing now is a demand for a relationship, and not just a relationship with the individual, but also the relationship with the family. So in those instances, we talk about things about family benefits, family recognition, and just being able to know our clients thoroughly and help them actualize their financial goals. And in that way, we find out that we're able to build trust. We're also able to add value to them in terms of the quality of advice that we give to them. So I think by so doing, it's a bit easier for us to work on longer term relationships and create the kind of stickiness that we would seek with our clients. How important is having the 125 year heritage of the First Bank Group to building and maintaining that trust? Well, I can say to you, Paul, it's a fantastic feeling for me. It makes my job easier. There's a saying that First Bank, in terms of a corporate entity, is a bank where everyone runs to as a flight to safety. We're under a very dynamic executive team and a very well-focused board. The banking sector in Nigeria has indeed gone through some transformation, but one of the tests of us as First Bank and as the leading bank the fact that we've been able to stand firm, we've been able to make good progress even when the environmental climbs were challenged and we are heading in the right direction. I can say that clearly. So finally, what does the future hold for First Bank Private Banking and for your clients? In terms of what the future holds, we want to be the clear leader and also the private bank of first choice for our clients. We do expect that there's going to be a lot more competition coming in from the non-traditional institutions. So you're going to see a lot more insurance companies, asset management companies, deploying wealth management solutions, providing advisory services to their clients. We also have competitors coming from offshore banks, even from the developed banks who have representative offices in Nigeria. So for us, it's been able to be anticipatory. It's about being able to create innovative products for our clients. It's about being able to find the role of technology in what we're doing. It's also about being able to comply with the regulatory requirements. And a lot has changed in that climb. You're looking at requirements like the common reporting standards. And you're also looking at the GIPs, which basically impacts how investment managers reflect the performance of their portfolios. But what I can dare say is that um, for us as First Bank Private Banking and as an institution in First Bank, with the leadership of the bank, with the board, the management, we are thinking steps ahead. A journey, it's not a race that's won in one day, and that's the way we've tried to position ourselves. We are indeed a bank that's here to stay, and a bank that would continue to be the leading choice for Nigerians. Ido, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Paul. Thanks for watching. Learn more at firstbanknigeria.com. Click now for more videos from the world's most innovative banks and please subscribe for more international business insights from worldfinance.com.